Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now we are in a new week and we are in the month of April. Praise God. Listen, God has spoken already concerning this month that He is doing a new thing. Have you begun to experience new things? Listen to me. When God speaks, He speaks because He has already done it. He is not speaking about what He is planning to do. When he speaks, it is as good as done. You know, before you hear the word of God, it is already done. See, that's why the scripture says, Thy word, O Lord, David actually spoke this. Thy word, O Lord, is settled in heaven. Praise God. It is settled. There is no contention about it. It is settled. And that's why Jesus said we should pray that prayer. The will of God be done on earth as it is written in heaven. Because it's settled already. Now we receive the information from God as his word because it's already done. So when we believe him, then we'll see the manifestation of his word in our lives today. Praise God. So listen, as you believe God's word that says he will do a new thing. Now when he says he will do, not just that he will stand up to do a new thing. No, no, no. You are the one who is going to see a new thing. Praise God. As for God, he's done it already. He is completely done it. Let's just bless the Lord. Father, we thank you. Our hearts are open to receive your truth. Hold back nothing from us, Lord, that will profit us today. Freely we receive from the depth of your heart that which is right and true. For you only speak truth. There is no lie in your mouth. Thank you because even right now I see burdens being lifted, yokes being destroyed. I see people enjoying that which is their portion. Thank you, Father. We give you praise in Jesus name amen praise God now then I, I was sharing with you on Friday and I told you I was going to talk to you about angels which is very important because the Lord spoke to me when I was um, asking his mind for the month of April the Lord said this to me he said in the month of April you will need angelic assistance now you know when god speaks to you you understand his terms you understand the phrases he uses he said you will need angelic assistance now what does that also mean that means he has made them available to us so he's bringing it to our consciousness that you will need to activate uh, angelic assistance you will need angels to help you you will need when god says you need something brother sister you need it praise god so what do you do begin to tune your mind to what he has said so you begin to enjoy all the benefits that he's he's giving already praise god so we are going to be talking about angelic assistance this week very important and i need you to follow every one of this message listening to it over and over you see that reputation? It seals it in your heart. Praise God. All right, so let's, let's look at angels and their roles in our lives. Turn with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 103. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalm 103. David speaking here and he says in verse 20 he says bless the Lord you or King James says ye his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word praise God it says angels excel in strength they excel in strength they do his commandments. 
they hearken to the voice of his word. Praise God. So you see, you see, God in his wisdom created angels. And what is their role? Those are the things we're going to be looking at. Praise God. What is their role in our lives today? What are angels doing? Are angels just stationed in heaven? Now, follow me and let's go over to Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1. We have just seen here that it says angels excel in strength. So let's go to Hebrews chapter 1. And I'll show you something from there. Then we begin to explain. Hebrews chapter 1. Look at verse 5. Now he's talking about, I wish we could start from verse 1, but you know because of time. It says, for unto which of the angels said he at any time. Now, when you read this, he's just simply saying, God never told any angel at any time. What's that? He said, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. He never said this to any angel at all. You know, sometimes you read the scriptures, you don't, you don't know, you know, I, I find this with a lot of believers. You don't understand when God is speaking, when God is doing something, or when an angel is speaking, or when an angel is carrying out an assignment. So we attribute everything, you know, oh God, you know, sometimes even in scriptures, you see manifestations of angels, and then you, you, you don't see it. See, there's a big difference. And during this series, I'll tell you the difference between an angel, and the Holy Spirit. What is their different roles in our life? Because angelic assistance does not replace the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit does not replace the activities of angels. See, sometimes people don't know this. You see, because one, they are all spirits. So any spirit movement, you see, oh, this is the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it is the work of angels. And it's important you know the difference. Praise God. So he says, which of the angels did he say at any time? What? You are my son. This day have I begotten you. He says, none. Now let's jump to verse 7. He says, and of the angels he says. Now he was comparing sonship and then being angels. He says, and of the angels he said, who maketh his angels spirits? I just told you, angelic angels are spirit beings. Who maketh his angels spirit? And his ministers a flame of fire. Praise God. Then let's, let's jump to verse 13. Watch this now. It says, But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Which of them? None of them. Why? It says, verse 14 says, Are they not all ministering spirits? Who? Angels are ministering spirits. Then it says, Sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. Praise God. He says, Angels are ministering spirits sent Fought, sent out by God to do what? To minister for. See? To minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. So if you are an heir of salvation, now what does he mean, heirs of salvation? He's talking about those who will inherit salvation. Now, think about it. If God had already sent angels to minister for you, even before you got salvation, how much more now that you have received salvation? Did you hear me? Now, do you know, do you know, from the moment a man is born, angels are, are released to him. Now, there are different roles angels play in our lives. The first of it is from the moment you are born, if you are a seed of God, born into this world, that very day you came forth into this world, an angel was released already for you. It is called your guardian angel. Now, what is the role of that angel? That angel carries the script of your life. 
So what do you mean by the script of your life? I want you to understand something. The, the Bible talks about the book of life and the book of life was written before the foundation of the world. The book of life is not being written today. See? So in the book of Revelation, when the Bible says, those whose names are not found written in the book of life shall be cast into the lake of fire. You know, people have heard preachers preach and say, if you don't get born again, or it is when you get born again that your name is written in the book of life. No, sir. It is not when you get born again, your name is written in the book of life. The book of life was written before the foundation of the world. That's what the scriptures say. Before the foundation of the world. In the book of Revelation, I think chapter 17, or, or I think chapter, chapter 17. It says the, the, the book of life was written before the foundation of the world. Now, now, that's why I tell you this. The moment a man is born into this world, he comes. The reason you were even born was to come to fulfill the things that were written concerning you. Are you getting me? So, before you came, things have been written concerning you. So the reason you are here is to fulfill the things that have been written concerning you. Now, if you are to fulfill the things that have been written concerning you, there must be a way for you to know them. Or you must be assisted to fulfill them. That's why God sends you a guardian angel and he comes with the script of your life. Praise God. That's what he comes with. The angel that shows up at your birth, he is holding the script of your life, the things that God has sent you to accomplish. That's why in the book of Hebrews, it says, Lo, I come in the volume of the books. It is written of me. So I come to do your will, O oh Lord. See, that, that's, that's, that's exactly what we are here for. We came to do the things that are written concerning us already. Not do things that will be written. No, we came to do the things that have been written already. So, first of all, when you were born, I want this to settle in your heart. When you were born, an angel showed up in your life. And his job is to create opportunities for you to fulfill the things that God has written concerning you. Listen, this is why you must understand that it doesn't matter where you were born. It doesn't matter the family you were born into. It doesn't matter the situation or the, the environment or the happenings around. Someone says, if, if, if I was born in a better country, I know what I would have been. No, sir. No, that doesn't make any difference. You see, because the angel that would have showed up in wherever country is the same angel that showed Remember, for example, Jesus was born in a manger. Think about it. Jesus was born in, in, in think, just think about it. Where animals were kept. That's not where you want to be born. That's not where you would dream. You know, you know, you imagine thinking about it. Say, you know what? A young man telling his wife, hey, honey, let's re- Let's reenact, you know, the birth of Jesus. This is our child that we're expecting. When it's time for labor, we'll take the child to, you know, a, what do you call it now? A, a ranch and, and, and give birth to the child amongst the animals. Who would want to do that? Praise God. But that's where Jesus was born. So if you want to think of disadvantage in birth, call Jesus. Praise God. But hey, he is the one that is now number one man that ever lived. So it doesn't matter when, where, or in what situation you were born into. You know why? The angel that is carrying your script. And let me tell you something about that script. In the book of Jeremiah, he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are good thoughts, not evil thoughts, to give you an expected end. So God already has an end for you and he says it is a good one. Praise God. So it doesn't matter where you start. There is an end for you and it's a good one. Praise God. So, so your job, your job today, and that's what I want you to take out from today's message, is to begin to connect with your guardian angel. And begin to fulfill the things that have been written concerning you. Praise God. Listen, as we go on in this teaching, you begin to, there are some of you begin like, yeah, yeah, no wonder. Praise God. Yeah, praise God. That, that's the truth. 
and understanding will begin to come to you concerning the activities of angel. Oh, Father, we bless you today. Even as we continue on this series, Lord, work of angels, works, activities of angels will begin to take place in everyone's life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Go out today and experience good things. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.